Hey guys, welcome to another central tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how we can bring in our Houdini simulations directly into NVIDIA Omniverse. So to get started here, I'm just going to be using an RBD bullet solver, and I'm not going to get into too complicated of a setup using constraints or anything like that, just the basics so we can see how it works. So I'm just going to be setting up a ground plane for the ground collision and just send it out here. Now the first thing I like to do is I like to file cache it out just so that we have smoother playback and it'll just help uh, make it faster to export to USB. Uh, finally, I'm going to be using a null object, and that'll just help us find it easier within Solaris. So let's jump into the Solaris view, and we're going to be importing our entire simulation into this stage. So I'm going to use a scene import uh, node here, and for this next step, we're going to want to make sure that the Houdini Omniverse connector is installed. So going into the connectors tab, we can find it here and just confirm that. Next, we're going to want to go into the Omniverse tab and drag in the Omniverse USB ROP and connect that in. And then we're going to want to give it a target for where we're going to save it onto our hard drive. Lastly, we're going to want to use the render specific range so that we can render out the entire animation uh, from 0 to 240 frames. So just cleaning this up, we're going to want to set the destination path to world. And this is just uh, doing some USD hierarchy stuff just to make sure that it plays nicely with Omniverse. And one other thing, this is optional, but you can also jump into the material section here. And I like to set it to matte and flatten the hierarchy so that all of our materials are accessible at the ground level. Um, so that just keeps it nice and organized and makes sure that it works correctly. Um, jumping in here, we're gonna now save to disk so that we can access this in Omniverse. So let's jump into Omniverse. And the first thing I'm gonna do is set the scale to 100 by 100 by 100, as Houdini likes to export things rather small. And just like that, our simulation is working within NVIDIA Omniverse. So let's just make it look a bit better here. I'm just gonna add in the Gray Studio uh, light preset and I'm gonna add it to our stage and I'm gonna enable this plane here so we can get some ground shadows. And as I scrub through, you can just see how fast it is. So one thing I wanna mention here is that just one of these frames exported as an FBX was 25 million polygons. So when I was playing around with 3ds Max and exporting from Tie Flow as an Alembic sequence or even as an Alembic sequence out of Houdini previously, each frame was storing 25 million polygons with translational slash rotational data. And you end up with file sizes that are hundreds of gigabytes large. So this is much faster, much more efficient way to do it. Uh, it's using a lot of packed primitives and, and storing all that translation data. So it's uh, a great way to be able to work with large simulation data and have it play back really smoothly within NVIDIA Omniverse. So the connector is improving all the time. And so this is the current latest version of it. And so you can even see that it brought in the materials and the color data which were applied to my primitive channel correctly. So I didn't even have to do any kind of custom material setup uh, in this case. So uh, from here, once your simulation is running within NVIDIA Omniverse, you can set up different camera angles, you can set up your depth of field, you can do all your post-processing settings like uh, adding bloom or color correction, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of share showcase this kind of workflow as it's a really cool way to be able to work. Um, this is, of course, much faster than working with offline traditional renderers, like working with Redshift or Mantra or any of those kind of ones. Um, so here's some other demos that I set up. Um, this is using a running simulation that was run through some voxels with some Lego pieces. Um, here's just a simple rigid body destruction setup. Um, this is just with low uh, light settings, just to render out very quickly. And I even used it for the most recent CES demo in December, where we had a building saloon kind of animate on. And this is using MOP in order to do some nice uh, blending of like rotational data. I also use it for this tumbleweed that kind of bounces in here and hits off our character and for the rain pop sim stuff as well. So just jumping into Houdini, you can see that we have a soft body point deformer, which was then exported as an Alembic sequence into Omniverse, and even just a pop sim that was brought in and rendered with USB geoprims as well. Super fast, really handy. So yeah, lots of cool ways we can use it for liquid sims and more fancy uh you know building collapse type stuff lots of really cool simulations so what i'm working on right now is i'm also bringing in animated vdbs from embergen where you can do a collapse and building with smoke for instance like i used uh here in this case anyway i hope this uh helps you guys out and i will see you next time